program of premieres only today. So these are all notes that nobody has heard yet, and that's a lot of fun, I think. Our trio, Sean Yancer on the horn, Misuk Yun, voice, and myself, piano, wanted to have more music to play, because there isn't that much music written for our combination. So we actually went ahead and asked a number of composers if they would write for us, and they did. This project was great, greatly supported by Youngstown State University with a grant. And we now have several pieces to show you as a first time out, if you will. What's particular about this is that it goes with a composition by Franz Schubert called Auf dem Strom, which is one of the most famous pieces for our combination. But there wasn't enough music to make it a whole concert. And now we do have enough music to make it even a full length concert. What's also particular is that this commission these commissions that we did coincided with a pandemic. In my opinion, each of the pieces you will hear today is particularly from the heart, and it really reflects the character of the composer very much directly and unfiltered, maybe because the composers were all cooped up in the pandemic. Let me introduce you a little bit to the first piece on the program. It is by South African composer James Wilding, and it is actually on a poem by Hermann Hesse, a German poet. What do we hear in this poem? Hermann Hesse writes um, about a person who's looking at the stars. And he says, here I am with all my worries, with my anxieties, with my fears, with my daily troubles. And I'm looking at the stars and I know there are so many other people sitting there looking at the stars with similar troubles, with similar anxiety and similar anguish. And I sent them today through looking at the stars, a very special greeting. Of course, this is a message that's not only universal, but is also a message that is eternal. And yes, it applies to the pandemic and all of us sitting in our homes and not knowing where life was going to take us. But in the meantime, the world has moved on to yet another humanitarian disaster. And I would like to dedicate today's performance of this piece to the humanitarian crisis that is currently happening in Ukraine. And I hope there will be people tonight looking at the stars with their anguish. And maybe you can look tonight at the stars and send them a special greeting. Let me now welcome on our stage, Mr. Yun and Sean Yes.
are so lucky to have a composer who just wrote the first piece, Jamie Wilde. <laughs> we'll be performing is called The Brother Tiger, written by Korean-born composer uh, Elliot Park. This story was based in, uh, based on children's story that was written in 1921. It's a little bit funny that we are talking about the tiger as a human's uh, brother, because a woodcutter uh, ran into, I guess, some woods, and then ran into a tiger. And Woodcutter knew that he would, there's no chance he would survive. So he just all of a sudden said, oh, you must be my long lost tiger brother, older brother. And Tiger said, well, there's no way. You are human, I'm a tiger, there's no way we'll be brothers. And then he made up all this story, said, you know, my mother lost, older brother. But Tiger was keep on showing up in the dream, in her dream. So you must be my brother. So he was in. The, he believed it. Tiger believed it because he didn't remember who his father or mother was. So and then he said, "Well, I, I cannot meet my mother because I became a tiger. I'm a, such a terrible son. So I'll do my duty as a son, getting the deity, and I will just bring the pig every month, so that my mom will be staying healthy and all." So that happened for a while, and then mother passed away. And the tiger was heartbroken, went into the cave, thinking that how terrible my son was, he ended up passing away. And the tiger's little children started crying, and, and the woodcutter ran into the ti little tigers and said, what happened? And his, uh, the little one said, my father passed away with this reason, with heartbroken. So the moral of the story is you do your duty as a children to adults, your, especially your parents. But at the same time, at the, at the end, um, woodcutters say, the lie saved woodcutter's life, but killed brother tiger. It has a two scenes, and with the four, nar uh, four uh, characters, narrator, woodcutter, tiger, and the baby tigers.
We're going to play is by Kara Hoxo, of which we dreamed not before. Written in 1873, um, Arthur Oshaniasi wrote Ode as a celebration to the creators and the ability to inspire and change the world. Yet throughout the poem, he refers to humankind as man, 
So Kara has taken stances that do not limit the creator to just dreamers to be men, and, but instead invite all people of all identities into the creative process. She has a special note, as a teacher, I have been moved by the final stanza of the poem for which a new generation of creators is to bring change to the world. I hope you enjoy. Yeah. Uh -huh. 